Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up the month of December in my catch-all horizontal planner. We'll decorate all the monthly pages in a fresh holiday theme, so come play with me. You're going to have got these Tombow markers ready to go, as well as this cardstock paper pack, this glue stick, these washi tapes, these Happy Planner sticker books, and these Planning Things sticker books, which I'll pull from. Okay, you guys, so first off, I'm going to show you my plan for the month. I thought it'd be fun to do kind of like an advent style of design on this month's spread, even though it's going to be used more for memory keeping, so I thought having a little bit of extra room there on each of the days would be nice and took two sheets of cardstock, cut them up into one and a half inch squares, then also took just some plain copier paper and cut that into one and a half by three inch squares and glued those together. I did two different patterns, which I'll alternate. And then finally, I'm going to use these super cute numbered stickers from the Planning Thing sticker book here to label each one of these squares. A pretty simple process. If you have a lot of cardstock, you could just fold it in half instead of gluing it on top of another sheet of paper. But for me, I thought it was a little bit easier to do the copier paper as the main base of the flap just because it's lighter weight, easier to fold, and I was also limited on the amount of that buffalo check paper that I had, but I really wanted to use it because I thought it was just the perfect pattern and match for the color scheme of the stickers. So I did it this way mainly because of that limitation, but I think it worked out really nicely as far as not bulking up the pages too much with extra cardstock and the fold is also a lot more secure, so the flaps don't want to rise up automatically. They stay shut pretty well, which I like. And then that way you, you really get a sense of the design and you don't have to worry about things peeking through. You can do this style of advent for many different things. You could do it for a gratitude every day. You could do it for movies to watch or bucket list items so this could be done for many many different things but for me i use my monthly for memory keeping writing in a memory each day so i thought that would be a really cute addition to this month's theme since i don't really get the chance to decorate within the monthly area the functional area much when i do the memory a day keeping on this spread I did white out the dividing lines there at the top for those empty box days so that I can add a little bit more decor there and I'll also be adding some decor into the sidebar. So that said, I'm just going to go through now and glue those flaps down now that I have all the stickers on and I have the cardstock glued onto the flap. Some things I haven't quite figured out is the 31st day of the month was a shared box there on the 24th. I'm not sure now where I'm going to put that. I was thinking about maybe putting it into the sidebar or sharing the 30th and the 31st on one and doing kind of the double day hack where you put another sheet of paper there so you can write a full box on either side. Um, but yeah, I haven't quite figured out what I want to do <laughs> yet on that. I may just skip it. It's just one day out of the year. We'll see how it all plays out in the end. But yeah, so I only did the 24 days that I had. So the last week there will just be my normal memory keeping. I want to keep those days open and free for functional planning. And I started out thinking that I could probably just wing it here, <laughs> but the more I started, I was like, no, I need my wax paper so I can try some things out, make sure this all comes together really nicely. We'll go ahead and just tape down some wax paper so I can 
figure out which stickers to use and where to use them so that I'm happy with the end result. And I pulled out this other Planning Things sticker book thinking to grab some of these colorful boxes out of there since there really wasn't any colorful boxes in the holiday one I pulled the stickers from. I also like to track my books read and TV watched in my monthly view here in the sidebar. So I'm pulling those boxes to track those things. I'm sure that I'll probably be doing more TV watching this month. So I got an extra long box for that. And then I also have, of course, the smaller box for the books read. I'm also figuring out what I want to do up there at the top in those empty days. I have a few scraps of that Buffalo check print paper that I want to bring in, but I want to use it throughout the monthly pages that I'll be setting up today. So I'm trying to figure out the best places to pull those in. I also thought it'd be nice to have some kind of quote or something up here, but keeping it somewhat low profile because we have a lot going on. I'm going to cut up this quote that says ho 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 and put that in and then just kind of see what other things are out there. There's lots of really cute stickers but they're all kind of busy. I don't know if you can really see but most of them have multiple things going on within one sticker which I'm trying to get away from if I can. It's a lot <laughs> with everything else I have going on so I kind of want this to be a little bit more of like a breath of fresh air up here at the top since everything else is going to be full to the brim and then I'm also figuring out just a little extra decor there for the sidebar I think Cutting up that quote will work nicely. It's very small and will fit in between those two boxes pretty well. And then I figured I would pull in maybe this wreath and now I'm trying out some different washies too, just for a little added color at the bottom. Since again, I am going to be using those days functionally. So let's see what we can do with what we have ready to go. I'll start moving some things onto the sheet. And I'll go ahead and roll off the whole sidebar since it's pretty straightforward there. That worked out nice. And then I changed my mind on the position of that wreath. Felt like it was a little bit better as a divider. So we'll move in those quotes. Those fit nicely up top. But you can kind of see how things could get really busy really quick. That was about as much as I wanted to put up there so it wouldn't be too distracting. And now we will bring in a little bit of that pattern paper I mentioned. I was gonna put it in this corner, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll put it in the other corner. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get it all situated here. I'm also going to rip the edge just so it has that nice frayed edge look. And here you can see where I decided to change the orientation and I like that a little bit better since again there's not much really going on on the bottom of this right-handed page. So I think that'll be a nice touch. And we'll go ahead and glue down the other edge here at the top. I do like glue sticks for this. They give you a little bit more flexibility as far as getting to the very edge if you have a nice point on the paper like I do on some of these ripped edges. And then also they give you a little bit of time to to really maneuver things when you set them down so it's not like as soon as it touches the paper it's unmovable <laughs> you know what i mean i really like having a little bit of a leeway with the glue stick i've used glue runner for many years but i've 
come back around to glue stick life, I guess is what I would say, and enjoy using that a little bit more when it works. So now we're going to cut down some of that green patterned washi and I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it, but I thought it might be a nice little addition down here. Again, more low profile. Cutting it in half kind of helps with that so it doesn't take up too much room. And we'll just tuck it underneath this little piece of cardstock. I'm not really finding another home for that other piece, so we'll just leave it as is and get ready to do the second spread here on my month overview. So I'm going to pull out those Tombow markers now and bring in a little bit of those Christmas colors here on the habit trackers and also on my monthly overview here on the right. The dots will be used for me to put in my followers and subscribers on social each day. And I'm using a red and a green so I can differentiate Instagram versus YouTube. Also add a little bit of a highlight here on this chart that I had created that's kind of a custom item to this layout specifically that I needed so I wouldn't have to keep creating it every month. And we'll lay down some wax paper and get into the design elements now. Here I am thinking to use some of these box stickers up. I have a hard time using box stickers in most of my layouts, but these ones are super cute, so I do want to use them. I thought maybe I would do a little bit of layering of those box stickers here in the right corner. And then maybe pull in some of these other clear stickers and create a little bit of a collage of items. I'll also be putting some in this upper left corner as well. Kind of an open area that I don't really need for anything in particular. So I will add those stickers in there. Trying out some different placements too for things. I really do like this set of stickers. The illustrations are super cute. Just trying to think of what might work in this bottom corner and also again in that top left corner as well. Let's start with that. Let's go ahead and see if maybe I can bring in some of the washi here or even the cardstock and figure out good placement for things. And then I have a full sheet of that other kind of plaid paper I used on the monthly. So maybe I'll bring in some of that cardstock. I like it down here at the bottom, but I think I'll need to raise things up just a smidge in order to make that happen. I think that will look good. Let's go ahead and try to reuse this already worn edge. Use that at the top. I'll just trim off a straight edge here. Lay that in. Maybe bring in some of this washi tape. I like that in the empty days of the month. And then I remembered I had some more red washi that I thought I could bring in. So we'll see where that might fit. I really love this little gingerbread washi too, but it's kind of busy um, where I have these stickers that are also sort of busy. So I don't know. We, we might have to wait on that. <laughs> Okay, so let's start laying things on. I think I have a good direction here for the design. I'm going to lay in that washi tape first and then these clusters of stickers so that I can layer the paper over it if needed. Like that. Go ahead and use my glue stick to stick it down. And then pull in those other two stickers tuck them in there. 
I'm also going to white out the box lines in between those empty days before I lay in the washi tape just so it looks a little bit cleaner. Give that a second to dry and then we'll drop this in. And that looks good. Trim off the excess. And now we'll go back over to this other page and glue down the top here. Try not to get glue excess all over things. So <laughs> try to be careful where I stick down the glue when I'm putting it on the paper. And then also too, when I'm cutting it off, making sure that it's not sticking glue to something else during that process. And then I forgot to put the red washi tape that I had planned behind the paper before I laid it down. So I'm gonna kind of sneak it in there. I thought about carrying it over into the other side of the spread, but I think I like it divided like that. So we'll leave that as is. Drop in the stickers at the top. Maybe move them over a little bit to fill more of the space since I don't really have a good quote or anything to stick there. And I thought maybe I could bring in a little more of this washi, but we'll see. I don't know. Seems a little weird. I think I'm happy enough with that. Okay, let's go ahead and just move to the back. We will start by laying in what's left of this buffalo check paper. Try to get that to fit in on this spread. Since I'm going to use that, I'll use the green plaid washi again. Cutting it down though so it's a little bit thinner. And then dropping that in behind the paper before I glue it down. I want to make sure this one is as straight as I can get it, at least visually. That looks good. We'll go ahead and glue down those sheets. This one I didn't use wax paper, so you'll see. <laughs> you still need to work a few things out. It takes me a little bit longer than normal to figure out what stickers I want on the sheet. But the baseline is set up. I think that looks pretty good. Now back into the sticker books. Again, I'm going to white out those divider lines. Give me a little bit more of a clean palette for the stickers. And this monthly spread I use for my scheduling. So this is where I actually put appointments and events and things. December is a pretty busy month. Um, I also have a holiday planner with a December in it as well. So that's where I'm going to be tracking all of the holiday activities and things that are going on. Anything that's kind of like a, something I want to make sure I'm getting to, I'll repeat on this spread. But for the most part, this is going to be more for things like doctor's appointments or, you know, meetups with friends, things like that. So it'll be different, but the same, I guess, is what I would say or... The other one's more for planning. This one is for things that I'll be executing, I guess. That's how I'm intending to use it. I don't need that much space, but it is nice to have a little place for those events. And since that's the case and I don't know what days I'll be needing, I'm just going to fill in those empty days with the decor. That way I have plenty of room functionally on the other days. Like I said, I kind of struggled a little bit about what I wanted on the spread as far as stickers. They're kind of 
small, but some of them aren't small enough. And then just mixing up the colors and stuff is a little bit trickier. Just dropping in random things, kind of. But paying attention to the sizing of it and also the colors so there's not too much bulk color in one spot. Definitely feel like they need a little more green, so I'm looking at that. Also, I needed something for that corner, so I was happy to see another gingerbread man to stick in there, which was a perfect fit. Well, maybe I can get this tree in there for some greenery, but I'm just going to sneak it on the corner here. Definitely need something there next to Santa. Maybe that wreath. I don't know. But basically, once I work that out, we will be done, friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also, too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel, if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!